Hi everyone. So welcome to this class on PSM updates. A quick review on all the PSM updates for your upcoming exams I'll be presenting to you. So this topic has been lingering for quite some time. So I thought I'll record a video and quickly send out to you that. Okay. So the first thing, see a few points about NFHS. Now please remember National Family Health Survey is a large scale multi-round survey conducted in a representative sample of households throughout India. Okay. Now the National Family Health survey that we just finished okay 2019 to 20 uh, 2021 so if a question comes how many rounds of nfhs have been successfully completed okay so we have successfully completed now four uh, five rounds okay successfully completed how many rounds successfully five rounds have been completed okay in the older questions the answer would be as four rounds but please remember now we have successfully completed five rounds so what is this survey just a little bit of information NFHS provides you information on fertility, infant and child mortality, practice of family planning, maternal child health, reproductive health, nutrition, anemia, utilization of quality of health and family planning services. Basically, NFHS is giving you information on things like what is the immunization coverage of India, what is, how much is the antenatal practice, uh, how much is the home delivery percentage, how much is the institutional delivery percentage, what is the immunization rate, all of those information is given to us by NFHS. Here I'm going to give out to you one more question that who, who conducts NFHS? So NFHS is conducted by International Institute of Population Sciences, IIPS, okay? International Institute of uh, Institute Institute of Population Sciences okay and where is the headquarters of this International Institute of Population Sciences um, this is in Mumbai okay so NFHS is conducted by that next NFHS is provide the five fifth one okay which is 2019 to 2021 it has also provided you data on preschool education like they could ask you what are the new topics preschool education disability access to toilet facility death register Registration. So, do we have now um, bathing sciences available, bathing practices during menstruation? Do we have information on that? Yes, of course we do. Methods and reasons for abortion, components of micronutrients to children, menstrual hygiene, frequency of alcohol and tobacco use, expanded age ranges for measuring hypertension and diabetes. Okay, so these are certain newer topics that have been included. Now, this is the data as of NFHS 5. Please remember sex ratio now is, I will be providing you a demographic update data also. So sex ratio now is 1020 women per 1000 men. For the first time India has recorded a sex ratio where we have more women per 1000 men. Okay, but then this has to be sustained. But sex ratio at birth is still 952 girls per 1000 boys. Total fertility rate, very, very important. Total fertility rate everybody now is how much? Total fertility rate now is 2. Okay, so for population to stabilize, TFR should have become 2.1. Pele India ka TFR was 2.2, it should have become 2.1, but now we have achieved it as 2. Okay, and um, uh, total fertility rate, although in rural area, is 2.1. Stunting. Now, what was stunting? Chronic malnutrition, right? So, this denotes height for age. Okay? Stunting is what? Chronic malnutrition, indicator of chronic malnutrition. So, from this one over here if, is NFHS 4 findings. Okay, This one is NFHS 4 and this these findings over here is NFHS 5. So, 38% to stunting has now become 36% wasting. Wasting is a measure of acute malnutrition and this is what weight for height okay so weight for height acute malnutrition emaciation 21 to 19 percent underweight you could be asked weight for age so underweight is what acute on chronic and what is the underweight percentage now 36 percent to 32 percent overweight also now see how many children how many children are reporting overweight 2.1 to 3.4 percent anemia in under 5 uh, children has gone to 58.62 now it is 67 percent anemia alone in women has gone to 57 percent anemia as men is 25 percent full immunization coverage this can come as an mcq also okay what is the current full immunization coverage okay so the current full immunization coverage among 12 to 23 months of ages 60 full means the child has received all due vaccines up to 23 months so 62 
62 परसेंट से 76 परसेंट बढ़ गया इट वॉज इनिशियली सिक्सटी टू परसेंट नाउ सेवेंटी सिक्स परसेंट इंस्टीट्यूशनल बर्थ्स दैट मीन्स हॉस्पिटल बर्थ्स हैव ऑल्सो इंक्रीज टू एटी नाइन परसेंट कॉन्ट्रोसेप्टिव प्रेवलेंस रेट हैज नाउ बिकम सिक्सटी सेवन परसेंट एंड दिस वी रिमेंबर यू रिमेंबर वी हैड लर्न दैट फॉर पॉपुलेशन टू स्टेबिलाइज एन आर 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 शुड भी इक्वल टू वन दिस विल ओनली बी पॉसिबल वेन कॉन्ट्रोसेप्टिव प्रेवलेंस रेट इज मोर देन सिक्सटी सिक्स परसेंट सो नाउ इन इंडिया इट इज सिक्सटी सेवन परसेंट एंड अनमेट नीड फॉर फैमिली प्लानिंग इज नाउ हाउ मच नाइन परसेंट आई मीन ऑल दोज पीपल हु डिजायर फैमिली प्लानिंग बट आर नॉट यूजिंग इट सो दैट हैज डिक्रीज नाइन परसेंट ओके सो दिस एक्सपेक्टेड यू कैन गेट सेक्स ratio you can get the prevalence of stunting wasting underweight also full immunization coverage and contraceptive prevalence rate okay and may need for spacing uh, which remained a major issue in india in the past has come down to less than 10% in all states so you have unmet need for spacing and you also have unmet need for limiting birth so we are talking about spacing now look at this another data which is very very important what is the current hdi of india okay i'm, I'm just going a little fast because we are running short of time exams are near so i just wanted to uh, you know provide you a gist of the data now so please remember human development index what all human development index indicates includes life expectancy at uh, birth okay it includes that what else does human index development index uh, include it includes the knowledge index or also you can say knowledge index slash education index okay it also includes knowledge index slash education index and it also includes one very very important thing which is income per capita okay income per capita so now hdi rank has dropped from uh, i mean hdi rank initially a score was 0.645 in 2020 now it is 0.633 in 2021 so india has slipped a rank in hdi from 131 in 2022 in 2020 to what is is the current hdi rank now the current rank in terms of human development index now is 132 okay please remember and also remember the current score it is 0.633 okay this could definitely come in your exams all right moving to the next important thing now why have i put global hunger index guys global hunger index was asked as a neat pg question last time only so into in the 2022 global hunger index india ranks 107th out of 121 countries okay with a score of 29.1 so global hunger index score now is 29.1 and india ranks 107th now if you remember since global hunger index was asked in neat pg last time what are the indicators we'll just quickly revise does it include infant mortality rate no so how have i taught it rem look at this child okay who is this child this child is a poor street child okay this is a poor weak street child okay just for you to remember who's begging on the streets now he is weak why is he weak because he is not getting adequate food so that is under the first indicator is under nourishment under nourishment over here means in adequate what in adequate food supply now because he is under nourished getting an adequate food supply because of that what happened under nutrition this is under nourishment this is under nutrition so when you talk about under nutrition it is divided into two things wasting and stunting now because of this under nutrition what happens it contributes to what child mortality or under 5 mortality okay so child mortality you have to remember is under 5 mortality rate so infant mortality rate is not a part of it because this was a last time neat pg question so i don't want you to forget it what are the indicators just remember the poor weak child who is begging on the street okay all right so now um, global hunger index india slips to the 100th and 7th place okay 100th and 7th place in 2021 it was 101 now we have gone more back 100th and 7th place in ghi ranking okay there's an update about global poverty lines okay now global poverty line was updated in september 2022 initially it was like um, below poverty line may global poverty line was set at if someone is earning us dollar 1.90 per person per day 
okay but now it is how much if somebody learns uh, sorry somebody earns 2.15 us dollar per person per day okay so that is global poverty line now poverty data now expressed in 2017 purchasing power parity prices versus 2011 pa purchasing power parity prices in previous editions so it is now expressed in terms of 2017 purchasing power parity and please remember according to world bank this is according to world bank everybody if anybody is earning less than 2.15 dollar us dollar per person per day that is going to be below poverty line okay all right now one very important update is that we have now introduced the third dose of fractional ipv under our immunization program okay so the third dose of uh, the third fractional do third dose of fractional ipv is now introduced from 1st of january 2023 so initially when you were giving fractional ipv what have i taught you at six weeks and at 14 weeks everybody we were giving fractional ipv 1 and we were giving fractional ipv 2 okay this was 0.1 ml 0.1 ml now um, fractional ipv we have to remember is given intradermal bcg is also given intradermal fractional ipv was given in the right arm now what is happening what will be the number dose or number of doses of fractional ipv to be given from 1st of january so three doses have to be given at six weeks 14 weeks and nine months so now in your schedule you're also going to add nine months of age we are again giving another dose fractional ipv IPV3. IPV can be given up to one year. So one dose we have introduced at nine months. So at six weeks and 14 weeks, we just read 0.1 ml intradermal at upper arm. Nine months also 0.1 ml intradermal at left upper arm. Now see in um, what you say in, 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 in six weeks and 14 weeks, it was right upper arm okay but at nine months we can't give it right arm because during that time we are also giving measles rubella rubella is given in the right arm subcutaneously so at nine months we are giving at left upper arm okay so this you have to remember that now so if you have to summarize fractional ipv is given at six weeks ten weeks uh, sorry six weeks fourteen weeks and also at nine completed also at nine completed months okay so this is very very important please don't forget this okay moving to the next state update on demographic data so what is current crude birth rate okay so the current crude birth rate now is 19.5 per thousand media population what is current crude death rate current crude death rate is six per thousand everybody media population okay then if you have to ask somebody asks you what is the current infant mortality rate so that is 28 per thousand live births all these formulas we have studied okay then if somebody asks you what is neonatal mortality rate it is now 20 per thousand live births if somebody asks you maternal mortality ratio now it has become i've taught you that maternal mortality is the only one which has per one lakh life births okay then maternal mortality rate if somebody asks you is how much six per lakh females okay women in reproductive age group so females all right then you already know what is sex ratio that is 1020 females per thousand males then there is sex ratio at birth everybody so that is now 929 tfr could come in your exams which is 2 couple protection rate okay so i've just summed up everything for you if you talk about couple protection rate it is now equal to 67 percent and the annual growth rate okay the annual growth rate of our country now is how much 0.9 percent okay so it has come down to below one percent all right so this is update it's may you must know all these things what is current imr what is current maternal mortality ratio which can be asked in your exams 
all right now a few update of national health program so when you have to talk about national health programs the first one we are going to talk is tb tb may there has come up a new initiative okay which is tb mukt bharat okay this is the logo please don't get confused this is not the logo of national tb elimination program that is still the same with the lungs drawn and there's a flag which we have studied in uh, national health programs this is your TB Mukt Bharat. Okay, this is the logo for TB Mukt Bharat. Now, what is TB Mukt Bharat? So, look over here. Pradhan Mantri TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan. Okay, so um, this Abhiyan aims to ensure linkage of all TB patients on treatment with Nikshe Mitra. So, now we have come out with some new term which is known as Nikshe Mitra. Okay, so under this TB Mukt Bharat, what are we doing? We are trying to ensure linkage with someone known as Nikshe Mitra. I'll tell you what is Nikshe Mitra. Abhi tak, till now you used to study Nikshe right which was technology based surveillance for all tb patients now what we are going to do we are going to uh, you know link all the tb patients on treatment with someone known as nikshe mitra who is going to provide community support okay patients on treatment so far is this you don't have to memorize this but now what are these nikshe mitras that is very very important okay so what is pradhan mantri tb mukt bharat abhiyan it's an initiative of ministry of health and family welfare to accelerate country's progress towards tb elimination by 2025 we are aiming at country's tb elimination by 2025 so it's going to provide additional patient support to improve treatment outcomes augment community involvement more and more community involvement and leverage csr activities which is corporate social responsibility so basically we have to provide additional support how is it being done this is what could come as your expected mcq okay there is a nikshe mitra initiative what is this nikshe mitra initiative to ensure additional diagnostic nutritional and vocational support to those on tb treatment that means all those people who are on tb treatment treatment we are going to provide them with additional diagnostic support nutritional support and vocational support okay the, so how we how are you going to do that niksha mitra support initiative how are we going to provide additional diagnostic nutritional vocational support so there is formation of something known as niksha mitra okay that is a donor they are those who can support by adopting health facilities for individual donor blocks urban wards districts for accelerating report so basically see we are going to link all the patients who are on tb treatment like over here with the niksha mitra for providing community support and um, niksha mitra are those uh, who can support like you know they can they can uh, they can be anything who can um, uh, you know they can be um, platforms they can be organizations they can be people individual donors who can take up who can adopt tb people okay niksha digital portion will provide a platform for community support so remember niksha mitra c can be individuals ngos political parties corporate institutes elected representatives etc and they can do what they can do what one second yes what can do they do that is very very important so what can they do they can uh, support tb patients from a period of 6 months up to 3 years for the nutritional requirements and medicines so we need to support tb patients by a uh, uh, community involvement and for that niksha mitra has come up which can be individuals political parties corporates institutions representatives are going to support tb patients from at least 6 months to 3 years for what for the nutritional requirements as well as medicine so this is the concept of niksha mitra there's also an ayushman bharat digital health mission where we want to digitize entire health sector so government has also focused on utilizing technology and creating digital health ids for tb patients under ayushman bharat digital health mission to ensure proper diagnostics and that treatments are available so i just want you to remember there is a 
प्रधानमंत्री टीबी मुक्त भारत अभियान दिस इज द लोगो डोंट मार्केट फॉर एन टी ई पी एंड अंडर दिस वी हैव क्रिएटेड वॉट इज नोन एज निक्षय मित्रा इनिशिएटिव एंड हु आर निक्षय मित्रास दे कैन बी इंडिविजुअल्स एन जी ओस पोलिटिकल पार्टीज कॉरपोरेट इंस्टीट्यूट्स एंड इलेक्टेड रिप्रेजेंटेटिव हु आर प्रोवाइडिंग सपोर्ट टू टी बी पेशेंट्स फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ सिक्स मंथ्स अप टू थ्री ईयर्स फॉर न्यूट्रिशनल रिक्वायरमेंट्स एज वेल एज मेडिसिन ओके दिस इज द लेटेस्ट टी बी एनुअल रिपोर्ट सो राइट नाउ टी बी इंसिडेंस इज वन एटी एट पर लैख पॉपुलेशन एम डी आर टी बी का जस्ट नो द परसेंटेज फोर पर लैख पॉपुलेशन एक्स टी आर टी बी वन लैख पर लैख पॉपुलेशन एंड टी बी डेथ्स आर थर्टी सेवन लैख पर लैख पॉपुलेशन नाउ दिस यू नो इज अ ग्लोबल इनिशिएटिव आई जस्ट सम अप सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम ऑल द नेशनल हेल्थ प्रोग्राम सो दिस इज अ ग्लोबल हेल्थ इनिशिएटिव यूनाइटेड टू एन टी बी येस फाइन ट्रीट ऑल एन टी बी बाई ट्वेंटी थर्टी ग्लोबल हेल्थ इनिशिएटिव एंड अंडर दिस एन टी बी स्ट्रैटेजी यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस इनिशिएटिव नाइनटी फाइव नाइनटी एंड जीरो नाइनटी फाइव SDG wants to end by SDG wants to end by 2030 sustainable development goal but according to NTB we want to end TB by 2035 and we want to achieve 95% reduction by 2035 in number of TB deaths 90% reduction in TB in incidence rate and zero TB affected families facing catastrophic costs due to TB so that is 95 90 and zero All right. Now there's a national strategic plan. You all know for TB elimination, 2017 to 2025 launch date was 2017. Vision is TB free India. All right. Just a few updates. Eliminate TB by 2025, five years before SDG. Strategy for TB is what? You have to first detect, then you have to treat. then you have to prevent and build okay like for hiv we have test treat prevent oh, uh, sorry we have prevent test and treat okay here we have to first detect treat prevent and build so now for tb diagnostic uh, uh, centers under national tb elimination program we have passive case finding also intensified case finding also which is comorbidity screening like when we are screening for diabetes we are also screening for tbs <coughs> okay then of course is active case finding happening in tb yes so active case finding is also happening in tb active passive intensified case finding all are happening for tb now now if you have to talk about tb just uh, remember a few terminologies who is a new case of tb a new case is defined as a tb patient who has had uh, never had treatment before ठीक है नेवर हैड ट्रीटमेंट बिफोर नेवर हैड ट्रीटमेंट बिफोर दैट मीन्स पॉजिटिव फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ओके पॉजिटिव फॉर फर्स्ट टाइम ऑल राइट और यू कुड ऑल्सो से हैज रिसीव्ड ट्रीटमेंट फॉर हैज रिसीव्ड ट्रीटमेंट फॉर लेस दैन वन मंथ ड्यूरेशन ओके सो दैट इज अ न्यू मंथ डायग्नो न्यू केस आई द डायग्नोज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नेवर हैड ट्रीटमेंट बिफोर और हैज हैड टी बी ट्रीटमेंट फॉर लेस दैन वन मंथ ड्यूरेशन हु इज अ प्रीवियसली ट्रीटेड टी बी पे केस ही हैज रिसीव ट्रीटमेंट वन मंथ और मोर नाउ वेन यू टॉक अबाउट प्रीवियसली ट्रीटेड यू विल हैव अ रेकरेंट टी बी केस एंड अ ट्रीटमेंट आफ्टर फेलियर रेकरेंट इज मेनी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन हु हैज कंप्लीटेड ट्रीटमेंट और वन हु वॉज डिक्लेयर्ड क्योर्ड ओके कंप्लीटेड द कोर्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट and was declared cured and now again is presenting as a microbiologically confirmed case and t- treatment after failure matlab kya hota hai the person has been put on treatment okay and like at two months i do a sputum or culture it comes out to be positive so the person has failed at the end of the most recent course of treatment so this will be available in the pdf for you just a few definitions who's a new case who's a previously treated case previously treated case may has received treatment for more than one month duration recurrent tb kon hai treatment after failure kon hai treatment after loss to follow up a tb patient who has been treated for more than 1 month on att was registered as loss to follow up and now presented again as a microbiologically confirmed case that means um he was uh, started on treatment and disappeared okay we couldn't follow up with him other previously treated patients are those whose outcome is not now unknown or undocumented and transferred in hota hai jiski treatment we start at uh, one tb unit and then we shift to the other all right 
Then there's drug sensitive TB. I just want to revise a few points with you. Means rifampicin sensitive TB. Okay, that means the person, rifampicin is active on the person. So now we all know that there is what? We all know that there is a daily regimen for TB. Okay, we don't have intermittent regimen. So advantage of daily regimen is what? It increases compliance. I'm writing it here. And also decreases drug resistance TB increases compliance and decreases drug resistant TB and in this dose of drugs are giving according to the body weight so we are using fixed dose combinations here as well okay we have five adult weight band categories six pediatric weight band categories you are not going to extend the uh, this can come as an MCQ for drug sensitive TB all right we have uh, four adult weight band categories and six pediatric weight band categories you do not need to to everybody extend the IP phase please CP phase can be extended for 12 to 24 weeks in certain forms of TB like CNS TB skeletal TB disseminated TB based on clinical decision okay remember um, there is one more thing that I want to tell you that if anybody asks you now the categories of TB treatment okay so for the categories of TB treatment you have a category 1 you have a category 4 and a category 5 Category 1 is all new plus previously treated. Okay, and new plus previously treated TB patients may, what are the drugs that we are going to use? 2 HRZE and 4 HRE. Okay, and 4 is our MDR. We will be seeing the protocol of that. And 5 is an XTR patient. We will be seeing the protocol of that as well. Okay, so now remember all previously treated cases are also now initiated on first line regimen because they are also category 1. Very important is that at baseline only now we offer CBNAT. Pehle CBNAT was reserved for you know like people living with HIV, extra pulmonary cases, contacts of drug resistant TB recurrent TB cases but ab hum log CB NAT ko reserve karte hai. I hope you remember CB NAT cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test is also gene expert and it gives us results within two hours okay and what is the Indian version of CB NAT everybody what is the Indian version of CB NAT so the Indian version of CB NAT guys is true NAT which was developed by ICMR so CB NAT is giving you results in two hours so any one person now who comes out who is a presumptive TB case okay you are going to do what you are going to do a CBNAT and the baseline only to rule out rifampicin resistant and any previously treated patients at baseline with CBNAT we will also do a first line probe assay okay um, first line line probe assay okay now here we will do at baseline for all previously known treated patients to know the uh, isoniazid susceptibility also and you don't need to wait for FLLPA results to start on first line treatment. Also we are going to have fortnightly clinical reviews of thalamic examination of all TB patients will also be done. So what I am trying to tell you classification based on uh, drug resistance of TB ok so I, I just want you all to know over here a few things uh, that we have to know when you talk about classification based on drug resistant TB. See now how it can happen. So you have all TB patients. Okay, all TB patients you are going to subject now at baseline on CBNAT. Okay, at baseline on CBNAT. All right. Now, if you do a CBNAT, you can either detect a rifampicin resistance. Okay, rifampicin resistance will either be detected okay or rifampicin resistance not detected so when rifampicin resistance okay will not be detected either it is not going to be detected so now the important thing is that now we have an integrated tb regimen see okay so if after this what you're going to do is rifampicin resistance detected and not you're going to subject this to a line probe assay okay line probe assay is also going to check for remember cbnat only detects rifampicin resistance okay so now if detected then also we are going to check for line probe assay so if isoniazid resistant okay I, I, line probe assay may if uh, 
you know if 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 resistant okay if resistant then isoniazid you can label it as h mono resistant all if if inh resistant h mono resistant or poly resistant tp okay but if what happens over here if isoniazid not resistant if inh not resistant then of course you are going to manage it as a drug sensitive tb see any tb patient at baseline you do a cb nat it's going to detect rifampicin resistant if rifampicin resistant detected do a line probe assay as well <coughs> so agar line probe assay mein resistant aata hai you can manage it as a whether it's alone mono or whether it's with other tb drugs other than rifampicin poly resistant because if it's rifampicin resistant also you'll just manage it as a uh, multi drug resistant tb if isoniazid is not resistant it is drug sensitive tb this is what this is integrated all right please remember this is integrated drug resistant tb diagnosis okay and treatment algorithm treatment algorithm now what happens again okay there are there is one more thing that you have to know that suppose if rifampicin resistance has been detected okay if rifampicin resistance has been detected man lo and then you see that there is no additional resistance okay no additional resistance so if rifampicin resistance is also detected you can just manage it as a simple case of mdr so if there is no additional uh, resistance which is detected okay or you see that there is isoniazid resistance detected okay isoniazid resistance detected with cat g or inh with cat g okay or inh a mutation theek hai not both please remember not both okay so if additional resistance detected i mean no additional resistance detected or only isoniazid resistance has been detected with cat g or inh mutation not both and no fluoroquinolone resistance detected no fluoroquinolone resistance detected in that case we take up now what is known as i'll give you the regimen shorter mdr regimen okay shorter mdr regimen which is of 11 months or you could also say shorter oral bedaquilin course theek hai shorter oral bedaquilin course theek hai containing mdr x uh, rifampicin resistant tb regimen see what happens anybody who's going to come to you with uh, who's a presumptive case okay you will do a cb nat that's the first thing you can see rifampicin resistance or not so if you see rifampicin resistance is not detected or even if it detected you will do a line probe assay if you see only isoniazid along with that or any other drug mono or poly resistant but if you see rifampicin resistant detected and you see that there is no additional resistance detected okay or isoniazid resistance is detected with a cat g or inh a mutation not both and no fluoroquinolone we will go for a shorter mdr regimen okay but but if if you also detect rifampicin okay if rifampicin resistance okay has been detected all right plus inh isoniazid resistance okay also detected but with both remember this thing with both cat g okay with both cat g and inh a mutation abhi tak it was only cat g or inh a mutation or fluoroquinolone resistance okay fluoroquinolone resistance detected here we are going to use our larger or conventional mdr okay larger or conventional mdr um, uh, you're going to use actually um, 
uh, sorry you're going to use here your longer or conventional or we are going to use oral mdr regimen and xtr regimen whichever is benefit okay so that you have to remember actually ki shorter mdr regimen ka bhi use karna hai when there is isoniazid resistance but with only cat g or inh imitation not both and no fluoroquinone but if there is cat g and inh imitation or fluoroquinone we'll go for oral mdr or xtr regimen so these are your this thing now see the first one is 2 hr ze plus 4 hr is for all new case and previously treated so this is what this is your drug sensitive regimen okay this is your drug sensitive regimen then you have a shorter mdr regimen this shorter mdr regimen please remember is 4 2 6 and 5 i've just written it for you over here when you have to use it i've told you conventional mdr and rr treatment when you have to use i've told you now if it is only isoniazid resistant okay mono drug so this is 6 month zero mono drug may 6 month zero even for poly okay zero over here means what levofloxacin okay rifampicin all right levo z ke liye ho gaya pyrazinamide ethambutol r is rifampicin and levofloxacin this zero is the mnemonic for this okay this zero is the mnemonic for this so isoniazid resistant pe agar hoga mono then you are going to do this xdr may now you have bpal regimen okay bedaquilin proteonamide and linezolid regimen so that is very very important here just to sum up guys you know what is mdr mdr is both h and r isoniazid rifampicin there is also now a term which is known as pre xtr pre xtr kya hota hai when you talk about pre xtr it is h and r theek hai plus any fluoroquinone and xdr we all know is what mdr plus any fluoro quinonone plus group a drug okay group a drug and what is group a drug group a drug is levo group a drug is moxi or group a drug is also bedaquilin and linezolid theek hai so when you have mdr hnr mdr may you have to see whether isoniazid may cat g or inh a or no fluoroquinone then you will go for bedaquilin oral shorter one pre xdr is hnr plus any fluoroquinone and xdr is group a so you will most likely you can get 6 months oral wala cup treatment hota hai when it is mono resistant okay inh if it is rifampicin resistant only resistant with rifampicin you can just manage it as an mdr therapy now there is a new term come up tb preventive therapy in eligible populations okay tb preventive therapy in all all drug sensitive tb contacts or other high risk contacts okay in all drug sensitive tb contacts or other high risk contacts we can give 6h 6 months daily isoniazid or now you can also give 3 months weekly isoniazid and rifapentin rifapentin not used in people on art so this is the thing you can either give 6 months daily isoniazid or 3 months weekly isoniazid and rifapentin in drug resistant tb contacts not sensitive but resistant rifampicin resistant fluoroquinone sensitive 6 months of daily levoflux uh, isoniazid resistant but rifampicin sensitive 4 months of daily rifampicin what you can expect is this one okay in all drug sensitive tb contacts what we can give Now we all know TB and HIV co-infection over. अगर होता है start ATT first, okay? Start ATT first, and then what happens? You have to start ATT after 14 days of ATT, okay? After 14 days of ATT, you will put or you can start on ART, okay? After 14 days of ATT, start ART. Somewhere around um, two weeks to four weeks later, you can start ATT. 
If drug sensitive TB patient and on second line ART, rifampicin should be replaced with rifabutin three times a week. Somebody asks you that when should you use rifabutin, so this is the uh, point. Trace TB project is transformative research and artificial intelligence capacity for elimination of TB. So now we are using artificial intelligence also to eliminate TB. Okay. Some points about National Vector Borne Disease Control Program. Please remember this is annual parasite incidence and this tells us the burden of malaria. Okay. And annual blood examination rate has to be more than 20%. So now if you look over here, uh, let me see if I'm, I'm not missing some point over here. Alright, now remember one thing, there is a national framework for malaria elimination and a national strategic plan with the aim to eliminate malaria. Alright, so we will be focusing on the national framework for malaria elimination which is to eliminate malaria by 2030. Elimination is defined by WHO as what? Elimination is defined by WHO as interruption of local transmission or reduction to zero incidence of indigenous cases of malaria parasite in a defined geographic area. So remember in India we want to eliminate malaria by 2030 and the burden of malaria has been classified according to annual parasite incidence. There are category zero states where there are zero indigenous cases you have to prevent re-establishment of malaria. Then there is category one API is less than one case per thousand population at risk. Category 2 is pre-elimination which means that API is less than one case per thousand population most of the districts but some of the districts report API of 1 or above. Category 3 API is more than 1. So now how do you manage? So just a quick revision integrated vector control measures this can come as MCQ, anti-larval measures hota hai, environmental chemical BCG uh, sorry biological environmental control is yielding permanent result. Okay, this yields what? Permanent result. In this we have focused on what everybody? We have focused on source reduction. Okay, anti-adult is space sprays like DDT and all of that, uh, mosquito protection against personal protective measures and legislative controls. So, which is the measure that yields permanent result? Please remember it is environmental control and when I say environmental control what do I mean by that source reduction okay next so I've just listed down these environmental control or source reduction what all can be done you can go through that chemical control may we use chemicals like Paris green biological control may we can use fishes like gambusia effens okay anti-adult measures may we talk about DDT spray but actually over here you have to remember that those areas with API more than two will have regular insecticidal spray with DDT at six weeks intervals during transmission season remember that during which season transmission season which is from July onwards okay and areas with less than API 2 will have focal spray of DDT if a case of PF occurs. Also if the area has 2 to 5 you can use conventional nets more than 5 you will use long lasting nets. So see insecticide of choice for indoor residual spray okay indoor residual spray. So what do we do over here 2 rounds of DDT in transmission season. Uh, in at intervals of please remember this is at intervals of six weeks okay and in case if the vector is refractory to DDT three rounds of malathion in transmission season and if the vector is refractory to DDT and malathion two rounds of pyrethroids at six weeks interval where areas have API more than equal to five they will be covered with long lasting insecticide treated nets and 2 to 5 is covered with conventional nets. I have just summed up with you. Like more than 2 refractory to DDT, so you will go with 3 rounds of malathion. Now, when you talk about uh, malaria car treatment, please remember if you mnemonic VOC, okay. If it is Vivax, if it is Oval, what is the drug of choice, guys? It is chloroquine. Okay, so over here chloroquine is given how much if you talk about chloroquine, okay, so chloroquine is given 25 milligram per kg uh, total dose, okay, per kg body weight for 3 days, alright, plus over here we are giving 
Prima queen. So prima queen is given how much? 0.25 milligram per kg for 14 days. Okay. So VOC, Vivax or whale chlorine, whether it is pregnant or non-pregnant, the choice is chloroquine. Okay. But if you have plasmodium, let's say we have plasmodium falciparum or we have plasmodium malari. Okay. In this case, what is our drug? ACT. Now, ACT, SP, sulfur dioxide, pyrimethamine in other states. Okay. And over here, you're going to have ACT, LM. This is in which state? Northeastern states. Okay. So, that is very, very important. So, remember in northeastern states, they can also give you RT Meter plus Lumefantrine plus primer queen you are going to add okay plus primer queen but in case of pregnant woman please remember pregnant woman first trimester the drug of choice for malaria is quinine okay and second slash third trimester everybody it's the same act act sp other states act lm but Primer queen is contraindicated. Primer queen contraindicated in pregnancy. That's the treatment of malaria. Now, an NACP is National Strategic Plan for HIV AIDS. So, we are targeting its elimination by 2024. Here, I want you to focus that for post exposure profile access, everybody, okay. Now, the post exposure profile access. There has been a change in regimen. It is TLD. Remember that. Okay. Post exposure profile access. TLD. Accidental prick ho gaya. Kuch ho gaya. TLD for 28 days. Okay. And the sooner you start. See within uh, for given for TLD is given a single dose of TLD. A single tablet given for 28 days. But it should be started within 72 hours of exposure. Okay, started within how many? 72 hours exposure. And when it will be best, best, if uh, it's going to be best, okay, if started within best, if started within how many hours? If started within two hours, okay, so remember that. Now, first line regimen, any which way is for HIV remains Tino, Lamy, FR. For all ARV naive patients, except those with known renal disease or co infection. So, um, if has renal disease, it is abacavir instead of tenofovir, okay. And HIV 1 and 2 co-infection, you all know it is teno, lami and lopinavir. ART regimen for pregnant woman is heart now, teno, lami, effavirenz, but if it is effavirenz resistant, then lopinavir or ritonavir. There is also cotrimoxazole preventive therapy to prevent uh, opportunistic infections from happening. Okay. Some new NACO initiatives are link worker scheme, Nirantar Sunrise Project. So, link worker is also for malaria as well as for HIV. ARV profile access we have done. Now, when it comes to leprosy eradication program, we all know that elimination criteria for leprosy is to reduce prevalence rate to less than one case per 10,000 population at subnational and district level to reduce grade 2 disability percentage to less than one among new cases. To reduce grade 2 disability cases to um, when we talk about this less than one case per billion population at national level, zero disabilities among new case and zero stigma and discrimination. New initiative over here is active case detection campaigns. Okay. So active case detection campaign hai ab leprosy ke liye bhi focused leprosy campaign and ASHA based surveillance. So if ASHA is going to detect a case, okay, if she detects a case, all right, without disability, without disability, all right, she is going to get rupees 250. And she's, if she is able to detect a case with disability, she is going to get rupees 200. Okay, all right. So now we also have uh, implementation of post exposure profile access for leprosy, where we are giving. Uh, where we are giving what? Single dose of rifampicin, okay? And so rifampicin is used as a post exposure profile access for a leprosy, sparse leprosy campaign or nikushte. With a view to scale up screening, leprosy has been also converged under Rashtra Bal Swast Karikram 
एंड राष्ट्र किशोर स्वास्थ्य कार्यक्रम सो थ्रू दीज कार्यक्रम वी विल बी डिटेक्टिंग पीपल विथ लेप्रेसी ऑल्सो मर्स्ट अंडर आयुष्मान भारत नाउ लिवाइज लेप्रेसी ट्रीटमेंट गाइडलाइन इज अकॉर्डिंग टू डब्ल्यू एच ओ ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू डब्ल्यू एच ओ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट एन अडल्ट वी आर गिविंग थ्री टैबलेट्स फॉर बोथ पॉसी एज वेल एज मल्टी बैसलरी ओके सो इट इज रिफेम्पिसन इट इज क्लोफाजमीन ओके एंड इट इज डैप्सॉन ऑल राइट एंड रिफेम्पिसन इज गिवन सिक्स हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम वंस अ मंथ आई जस्ट राइट इट डाउन फॉर यू क्लोफाजमीन इज थ्री हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम वंस अ मंथ ओके एंड फिफ्टी मिलीग्राम डेली ऑल राइट एंड इफ यू लुक एट डैप्सॉन इट इज गिवन हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम डेली बट प्लीज रिमेंबर वन थिंग दैट फॉर मल्टी बैसलरी फॉर पॉसी बैसलरी मल्टी बैसलरी ऑल द थ्री ड्रग्स ड्यूरेशन इज ट्वेल्व मंथ्स टू बी कंप्लीटेड इन एटीन मंथ्स पॉसी बैसलरी सिक्स मंथ्स ऑल द थ्री ड्रग्स ओके एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट चिल्ड्रेन हु आर टेन टू फोर्टीन ईयर्स एज गाइज अगेन वी आर गिविंग रिफेम्पिसन ओके वी आर गिविंग क्लोफाजमीन ओके वी आर गिविंग डैप्सॉन सो फॉर चिल्ड्रेन टेन टू फोर्टीन ईयर्स इट इज फोर फिफ्टी मिलीग्राम वंस अ मंथ क्लोफाजमीन इज वन फिफ्टी मिलीग्राम वंस अ मंथ ऑल राइट एंड फिफ्टी मिलीग्राम ऑन ऑल्टरनेट डेज ओके फिफ्टी मिलीग्राम ऑन ऑल्टरनेट डेज एंड वेन यू टॉक अबाउट डैप्स ऑन फिफ्टी मिलीग्राम डेली सो दिस वन अगेन इज ट्वेल्व मंथ एंड दिस वन अगेन इज सिक्स मंथ्स एंड यू नो टेन टू फोर्टीन ईयर्स इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस बट नाउ डब्ल्यू एच ओ इज सेंग फॉर ऑल द थ्री ड्रग्स वी हैव लाइक फॉर ऑल द मल्टी एंड पॉसिबैसलरी ऑल थ्री ड्रग्स आर बींग यूज now this can ex you can expect monitoring and evaluation of leprosy eradication program so there are primary indicators which includes annual new case detection rate treatment completion rate indicators for case detection so how many new cases with grade 2 disability how many child cases among new cases how many multi bacillary cases among new cases how many female cases among new cases but what can come as quality of service you should know defaulters ka prevalence replaces during a year proportion of cases with new disabilities okay now this is just a list of covid vaccines guys i have put it out here for you so you can go through this list but more important than this is like covid shield has the following ingredients co vaccine has all these things you can go through this what i want you to focus on newer vaccines we have novavax genova all that but this is most important okay corbivax now corbivax is a version of receptor binding domain it's a recombinant subunit vaccine which can now be used for 12 to 14 years 0.5 ml intramuscular two doses with more than four weeks gap okay so corbivax is a new vaccine which you should remember also there is one incovac okay incovac a corbivax use karoge you remember karna sub unit vaccine for 12 to 14 years for more than 18 years we also have incovac now which is a recombinant replicant deficient adenovirus vaccine two dose schedule with a gap of 4 weeks made by bharat biotech world's first intranasal vaccine for covid to receive approval for primary two dose schedule and as a heterologous booster dose in covac okay so remember this in covac as well it can come in your exams when it comes to blindness there has not been any much change blindness definition is less than 3 by uh, 60 visual acuity in better eye with available correction visual impairment is less than 6 by uh, no visual impairment is visual acuity less than 6 by 18 in better eye most common cause of blindness in people more than 50 years is cataract of uh, 0 to 49 years non trachomatous but overall everybody it is cataract okay and if you see visual impairment more than 50 years cataract in 0 to 49 years refractory errors okay this was the prevalence of blindness 0.365 
okay visual impairment was 2.55 but what i want to tell you now is according to the 2021 2022 annual report the program currently provides primary and secondary eye care services within the nhm framework with 60 40 cost earning between center and share ye aa sakta hai and we want to reduce the prevalence of blindness so very easy 0.25% by 2025 with the proposed 270 lakh surgeries to be carried out over the next financial years current prevalence is 0.36 we want to reduce it to 0.25% by 2025 and of course we have an ayushman bharat digital mission which aims to develop backbone necessary to support the integrated digital health infrastructure of the country it will bridge the existing gap among different stakeholders of healthcare ecosystem so basically we want to have a digital system for everything health id for every citizen healthcare professional residents registry healthcare facility registries okay so this is the last slide um, now i might have gone in a little rush guys but i just wanted to put out all the updates for you the pdf of the same will be available on psm on my telegram group psm with dr neha all right uh, also on my instagram group it will be available crack psm with dr neha the links of this uh, will be provided in the description box <coughs> you can access it please go through the first part and of course the changes more importantly have come in tb program which i wanted to remember the first part of the lecture that's equally important thank you so much any doubts queries keep sending on my telegram group and instagram thank you so much everybody have a good day and stay safe